want to share with you, yeah, and your family, family. the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God. With one touch in our streets, we're touching hearts and changing lives. Now I just would like to uh welcome you to uh one of the test ministries, second our home gathering with our uh apostolic uh leaders as Pastor Shannon and Prophetess Nadija Young. And I'm your campus minister here, uh Minister Henry Jackson. So we would just like to uh start off with a reading of scripture. Coming from Proverbs 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lead not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes, to the Lord and depart from evil. He shall be healthy. To the net neighbors and warrior to thy bones. Under the Lord which thy sustain, and with the first fruit of all thy increase. So shall thy bond be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall bust out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastisement of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, even as a father, the son in whom he is delight. Happy is the man that finds wisdom, and the man that gets understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the grain, therefore, then find gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things that can't desire are not to be compared unto her. Live it of days in that in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are the ways of presence and all her presence of peace. She is a tree of light to live there or upon her, upon her and happy is every woman and retaining her. The Lord God wisdom had found the earth, the understanding has been established in the heavens. The Lord will be blessed, many best, for the good education of our soul, body, and mind. Uh, thank you for that. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we would like to uh, go on to prayer. Uh, I was going to say, oh, dear Heavenly Father, may we come to you, rush me to your throne of grace, and we want to say thank you for this weekend, I mean, for this month. And Father, uh, thank, uh, yeah, we thank you for bringing us through all the way unto um, Christmas month. And we thank you for uh, the gifts and, and the, the, the joy, the excitement, and everything that we are planning uh, for the following year. Uh, but the Heavenly Father, we do thank you for 
get some sort of food that we eat, the clothes on our back, the you know, know, know the fact that we're in our health, and and, and also we want to also give our pray pray uh, out to those families that that are in need of it. Uh, whether they're struggling and suffering, we do ask that you fulfill their needs, uh, where their needs are, need to be met, and also be thankful to be thankful for our, our health, our family, and and, and, and our uh, unity. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We would like to do going to praise and worship. And to say, I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. That Jesus lifted me. So it's sanctified. That Jesus lifted me. So it is sanctified. That Jesus lifted me. So it is satisfied. That Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Amen. Amen. So since you don't got any more, uh, I want to say worship songs, then we would like to uh, go to a uh, testimony. Um, yeah, I want to say, yeah, I am uh, happy and, and glad that I am in my right mind. And, um, yeah, I am you know, uh, uh, thank the Lord for, for my health, uh, me uh, being the age that I am and still able to move around and, you know, do the things that, that uh, uh, so I can do. Um, yeah, I thank the Lord for my mother's health, that that she's, you know, in, in healthy condition. You know, yeah, she's uh, joyful and smiling and everything. So... Yeah, I uh no, I thank the Lord, yeah, for so much. All the way through up until the present moment. And I just want to thank him for being in the midst of us daily. And I just thank him for the sunshine and the weather and everything. The people that are going here for shopping for Christmas. But I just thank him to give them the strength and the courage they need to continue on doing his will. And he said that Lord I think that ourselves. And trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And he and keep doing that. That. And that's the thing that come out the most for the year of 2023. As I go into 2024, I, all I want is just to be thankful for just still being here and able to do his will. Whether it's good or bad or rich or poor, I still want to do his will. And I pray for the ones who are sick and shed in all over the world. The ones who is homebound, the ones who are able to get around. I just want to say thank you. These are the blessings I ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And so, yeah, we are thankful for the, for the uh, testimonies. Yeah, I'm say, yeah, I'm going, going to go into the, um, of the uh, sermon part of the service. So uh, if you have your Bibles, then you could follow me in First Samuel chapter seventeen, and I'm going to read verse forty through fifty. Okay, so First Samuel chapter seventeen, verse forty through fifty reads, and I'm reading for the from the voice translation. And it reads, "For he took his staff." Is we talking about uh, uh, young Joseph? So he took his staff in his hand. It went to the stream to choose five smooth stones, which he kept in a pouch in his shepherd's bag. So he had his sling ready as he approached the Philistine. So the Philistine, with his shield bearing in front of him, came close to David. 
for when he saw that David was only a healthy and handsome boy. Goliath eyes filled with contempt. For I and he spoke in verse forty three, saying, "For uh, am I a dog that you come to beat me with the stick?" And he cursed David, invoking the names of his Philistine gods. Verse forty four reads that and Goliath spoke and said, "Come here, and I will feed your flesh to the birds of the air." And the wild animals of the flat of the fields. Verse forty five reads, and David respond back, and say, "You you come to me carrying a sword, and spear, and graveling as your weapons, but I come armed with the name of the Eternal One, the Commander of heavenly armies, the true God of the armies of Israel, the one you have insulted." And he continues to say, this very day, the eternal one will give you into my hands and I will strike you down and cut off your head. And I will feed the birds of the air and the wild animals of the fields with the flesh of your Philistine warriors. Then all the land will know the true God is with Israel. And all of those who gathered here will know that the Eternal One does not save by sword and spear. The battle is the Eternal One's, and He will give you into our hands. Verse 48, when the Philistines stood up and approached, David ran toward the line of battle to meet him. And as quick as a flash, he reached into his bag put a stone in his sling, and launched it at the Philistine, hitting him in the head. The stone sank deeply into his forehead, and the Philistine fell face first onto the ground. That was how David defeated the Philistine with only a sling and a single stone, striking him down, ending his life without a sword in his hand. And so throughout this verse, yeah, you see, uh, yeah, we, uh, no, I want to, want to, uh, point out as well that, uh, little David, uh, was a, was a boy, uh, as we know. And, uh, we within this text, he was said to go out and to go, you know, meet with his brothers and, 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 and to conversate with them. But as, as, as he's out and he's learning himself throughout this process, he gets to the process where where he had one, his his brother was, uh, I, I want to say, what well, was downing him. And then he had his king, Saul, which was downing him when he was trying to he, he equip him with the right type of equipment. But now we see that David they been through that and he realized, oh no, no I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to say chase my mind based upon my family or I'm not going to chase my mind based upon my leader. It's because they're afraid of me getting hurt by this man. And so he still moves forward and he realizes through that, that, that the, now, I want to say that the tools that the Lord have provided for him there is something uh, 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 all that he needed. And so when he realized that the, the, the fact that he taught him how to, how to take a slingshot and how to defend his shepherds, uh, because that, 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 that is how he defend his you know herd was by a slingshot. So he didn't need need no state of the art thing to do uh, what God called him to do, and so with him using that, and the scriptures will say that he took he had a staff and he had five stones to stop the patch, and the stones, in a prophetic sense, mean it is a solid foundation that cannot be moved. As small stones, it speaks of attacks that are painful but can be easily overcome. 
And so the uh, number five, as you know, which means fivefold ministry, but it can also mean is the number of men. And so here we see uh you no know, a man that's going well, look, young David is is taking his battle as a man and he's taking his slingshot and he goes and, and then here's the I wanna say you no know, the enemy that tried to uh uh I, I'm gonna say try to attack his confidence by telling him Oh, you just a little boy, so he think he's not gonna do any damage. And so, yeah, we all been in those situations, yeah, where people, I, I want to say, that doesn't think that we're not uh, capable or or powerful enough to to even to do what we have set out to do. And so, here, um, no, the enemy. We were trying to get David to to bag off as, as if he wasn't going to get the job done. And so as David still stand his ground, uh, I want to say David had had took, well, David said to him, oh, you, oh, you think that I'm going to win because of the the weapons that, that I have? And and he assured him that he, that the Lord was going to, uh, uh, would deliver him in his hands. And so here would I speak of him having faith and not in the tools that he had, but however, in the, in the, uh, I want to say getting God, you know, promising him, you know, that, that, that was going to happen. And so what, what things has God promised you in your life that you had challenges that, you you didn't think that was gonna come through, but it still came through anyway. And so there 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 was a, a sickness that we had probably inside of our life that the doctor said we wasn't gonna make it, but but through the grace of God we made it. And so here here he reached in his back, take his slingshot, and he shoot his slingshot and he hits him. And, and so he falls, and the Bible says he falls face first. And so now, you know, everyone knew how how Goliath was defeated. But for us, you know, don't allow pe pe people to doubt you, or don't allow people to intimidate you in the things that God uh, have for your life. And so they you know there may be. I want to say uh, obstacles that you may not feel that you could journey through, but I am here as a witness to let you know that you just need to keep pushing and to not rely on your strength, but to rely on the Lord's strength and rely on the Lord getting it done. And so with, with those, I'm going to say with, within those tasks as you're going through, uh, it is important that you learn through those mistakes. And, and so therefore the Lord can equip you with with the with the faith that he needs to be able to to so when you stand against the enemy that you're not I, I, I want to say lacking that faith. Or in, in other words, you know, when uh when we're in a fight, it, it if it's our first fight, yeah, we are afraid of getting hit or or or, or I want to say getting uh, damaged. But but however, if we've been in the fight already and we get hit already, then we have a uh, expectation of knowing, you know, what what it feels like. So we're not going to be uh, 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 afraid anymore. So the next time we stand and fight, where we're not going to have any fear or any doubt. Yeah, we know the the hits is coming. We know they're hurt, but but we know not to back down. And so, yeah, the Lord is going to see it, see to it that he got his victory. And so, and how he got his victory, because he believed in the Lord was going to bring him his victory and not relying on his effort and his knowing. And, and so that's why it's important uh, that the church would say that we lean not to our own understanding, you know, but, but, but by leaning on the mouth of God. And so... 
that's what David did. He leaned on God's word. And so so we need to lean on God's word and the promises that he had for us, that they shall be fulfilled. Yeah, I hope that uh, that you do enjoy that. Yeah, so now I, I want to read you the sevenfold uh, blessings. Yeah, I speak a uh, blessing of one, health for you and your family. Number two, I speak blessings of deliverance from, from any habits you have in your life. Number three, I speak blessings of peace to your mind from anybody or anything that may be disturbing you. Number four, I speak blessings of salvation to any friends or loved ones. Number five, I speak blessings of comfort to any person that is hurting, that is lonely, that is bereaved or confused. Number six, I speak blessings of finances, debt cancellation, prosperity, uh, economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. Number seven, I speak blessings of anointings and promotion in your life to complete your assignment to move forward in your purpose. Yeah, so now we're going to do the uh, benediction speech. Um, if you have, uh, uh, for, for those who have your Bible, you can uh, follow us on Numbers chapter 6, verse 24, 25, and 26. And as we'll be reading from the message translation. And it reads, May God bless you. May God keep you. May God smile on you. May God gift you. May God look you full in the face and may you prosper.